ahead and get started. You don't need any equipment at all. We're gonna start with our legs nice and wide. We're gonna be doing a lot of balance work today, so get ready for that. So pull the abs in, draw the ribs down, and we're gonna take a nice big deep plie all the way up with the arms, and exhale down. Good, inhale in, and exhale down. So I love working on balance because it really creates a foundation for everything that you do. So when you have a strong, stable body, it means that you're really recruiting little tiny muscles that we don't normally work when we're just doing you know normal like bicep curls and things like that so it requires a whole heck of a lot more balance or muscles to be used while you're working on your balance okay one more deep play hold it here hold good make sure that you have a big wide stance like a sumo squat hold and we're just going to take a nice little side and up all right you should already be feeling those obliques um, and a reach and up, nice. Pull the abs in nice and tight. Stay low to the ground like I'm doing here. Good, and reach, and up, and reach, and up. Now see if you can go a little bit further. Whew. Reach, get a little bit further, deeper over, and a little bit down, lower into your hips, and up, and lower and up nice now we're gonna hold here hold good now see if you can get a little bit deeper reach the arms a little bit further stay right there come right back up and then go to the other side reach and hold for three a little bit deeper two and one nice now we're gonna take the elbow we're gonna reach all the way down touch your thigh and then we're gonna come up arms are wide nice big wingspan here and then lower the elbow down to your thigh and up, here we go, eight like that, eight, and up, seven, and up, really feeling the sides of the waist, moving, six, and five, and four, Woo. three, and two, you should feel a nice stretch here, one, good, now we're gonna go to the other side, and eight, and up, seven, up, Good, six, five, hold on to your balance, four, and three, and two, and one, hold it here, good. Now we're just gonna teeter-totter, just similar to what we were doing before, but arms are just nice and wide, for eight, and seven, feel those legs work, and six, hold on to your core, five, Reach to the fingertips, four, and three, and two, and one. Stand on up, good. Bring those legs together. You're probably already feeling a little bit out of breath, right? Now reach the arms up towards the sky, pull the knee in towards the elbow, and lift right back up. Nice, we're gonna go for eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two and one stand really tall on the standing leg six five four three two and one now we're going to turn it out to the side here we go two sets of eight seven six five balancing on that standing leg three two one we want to make sure our core is really turned on for all of these exercises ahead five four three two and one, nice. Hands are gonna come behind the head. Now we're going to take elbow to knee just like that. Here we go. You're gonna feel the standing glute work as well. And six, five, whew, four, three, two, and one. This is really strengthening our hips as well. Eight, seven, which supports your back. Six, five, four i know three and two and one okay we've got one more set here i know i started to get tired let's work twist here like that so elbow to knee make sure you're not going too low okay elbow comes up to your our knee comes to your elbow think of it that way as opposed to going down let's go eight seven six five four 
three, two, one. Feel that standing glute work a lot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, okay. Shake that out. We're gonna go on to the other side now. All right, you ready for this? Reach those arms up and let's go. Pull down and down. I wanted to offer this class to you because it really does help to slow things down a bit. Get connected to your body. I know sometimes, you know, you come in and out of your exercise routine and maybe you're just coming right back in. Good, eight more. Eight and you're coming back into your routine. This is a great type of class to start off with to really just reconnect with your body. Feel balanced, harmonized. Good, three, two, and one. Nice. Now we're gonna take the elbow down to the side. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. The key here is to stand really tall on the side body. Good, four, three, two, one more set of eight right here. And eight, seven, six, five, Four, lift up taller with each one. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now we'll do the elbow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, whoo, two, one. It's pretty challenging to get that leg up there. Okay, let's do it again. Eight, seven, six. Having strong hip flexors is really key to having a strong core and also helps support your back. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're almost done here with this set. Then we're gonna move into legs. Here we go. Eight, and seven, whew, six, five, four. Remember, knee comes to elbow, not the other way. Two, one. One more set of eight, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Okay, so we are going to move to the back of our mat now. Bring the feet together. Take a big inhale in. Hopefully you feel that core on fire. And let's take a forward fold right here. Walk yourself all the way out to a downward facing dog balance here for just a few breaths. Feel the legs starting to open up. Connect hands and feet to the floor. Feel grounded in the earth. And we're gonna roll forward to high plank pose. Good. Holding it here. Just a couple seconds here. Those abs should already be on fire, so just continue to work the core. Bring the ankles together, inner thighs together, booty squeezes under. Push the floor away and back to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Good, now we're gonna roll forward again. Inhale, exhale, let's add a little push up right here. And all the way back. Good, five more times just like that. And five. And back. And four. And back. Good. Three. And two, and one. Hold the high plank pose, hold. Push the floor away as much as possible. We're gonna do shoulder shrugs here. So lowering the shoulders down into the, into the shoulder sockets and then push everything up. Okay, so if this is too challenging, just go ahead and put the knees down and do the shoulder shrugs right there, okay? Or maybe a little combo of both. We're gonna do 10 right here. And 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, you can do it. Good, now we're gonna lift the right leg up. Balance on that toe. I know, you've got this. Take it all the way back to a three-legged dog. Good, pull the knee in towards your chest. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in, push the floor away. Let's do five right there, five, and four, and three, two, and 
three and two Woo. and one step it all the way through good hold it here we're in a high lunge now now just balance up on top of that leg just lift the chest up off of the floor place the hand down high plank pose five like that five and up hands down step it back good four and up good you got to really push the floor away to create space for the knee under the chest two up down and back and one up down high plank pose here we go hold 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 lift the left leg up balance right here now feel like someone's pulling your foot back so much that it takes you into a three-legged dog nice five right here here we go for five and reach four and reach three and two and one hold 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 step it through lift on up same thing on the other side lift up roll the shoulders back squeeze the shoulder blades together hands down step nice five times like that so that's why we did the shoulder shrug so you can push the floor away create space for the knee underneath you a lot of core strength a lot of arm strength nice really squeeze the thigh up into the chest I know the first time I did this I didn't think it was possible but I had to create the space in my own body and this time we're gonna step all the way up to the top of the mat Whew, feels good right take a little chair pose bring the feet together you should be able to see your big toes how are you doing stand all the way up all right so we're gonna take a step back into a lunge here so legs are far apart from each other and then I'm splitting the middle okay so I'm not on a tightrope I'm splitting the middle line of my mat all right we're gonna do 10 lunges right here and 10 I love this because this really challenges your balance here eight seven six five four just enjoy there's a beautiful view here three and two and one hold it right here little pulses for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one we're gonna stand all the way up into a warrior three reach the arms back behind you squeeze the shoulder blades together Whew. back to the lunge here we go ten times just like this and ten and up I know it's okay if you're falling all over the place like I am nine and up especially if you're in the sand you've got an extra challenge there that's why I love being in the sand I love walking in the sand running in it it adds so much challenge to your stability good seven you feel those glutes now six oh boy five it's burning a lot four and three and two we're gonna hold it up here now and one hold hold the warrior three pose make sure that this left hip is down facing towards the floor tap the foot down oh my gosh okay take a little breather first my booty is on fire okay here we go and tap and lift let's go ten times ten nine ribs are in eight belly in seven six squeeze the shoulder blades together five four three two one take that leg all the way up Woo, it is on fire pull the knee in towards the chest now you can take a little breather here as I show you your next exercise. We're gonna tap slowly down and stand all the way up, okay? So we've got eight right there. 
I know. I'm feeling it too. Here we go. And eight. This is how you get strong. It's how you recruit all these little tiny intrinsic muscles. Six. You're gonna feel so good. Five. And four. Now we're just gonna extend. Come all the way back up, knee to chest. For eight. And up, I know that standing foot's getting a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work, that's good. We want strong feet. Strong feet's gonna create a whole strong, balanced body. Many times our feet get super weak because we wear those big clunky shoes that offer so much support, right? But when you have too much support, that means you're not doing any of the work. Your foot basically doesn't have to do any work, right? So you want your feet to work. And then we wonder why we get plantar fasciitis and we get low back pain. Three, I'm falling all over the place. Two, this is it. And one, good, all right, take a nice big inhale in. And let's take a forward fold release that out before we go to the other side you might need to kind of wiggle out that standing foot it got a ton a ton of work which is so so good slowly roll on up and let's move to the other side so you know what's ahead of you okay get excited all right so now we're gonna lower lift ten times here we go ten and up nine and up so I kind of squeeze my booty there to give myself a little extra stability there hold on to your core as well Ooh, I just saw some dolphins good eight and seven, and up, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna hold it down, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna lift all the way up. Here we go, to our warrior three. Make sure that you draw that hip down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And let's go for 10. And up. Nine. And up. You've got this. Eight. And up. Seven. Just flowing smoothly through the air. Enjoying the beautiful beaches here in Malibu. Good, five and up. It is seriously such a gorgeous day today. The sun is perfect. There's just a little bit of a breeze. Four and three and two and one. Whew! Burn in, here we go. We're gonna lower lift, stay in your warrior three for 10. Nine, eight, seven, balance on that foot. Six, oh boy, <laughs> it's okay if you fall. Five, it's always just feedback, right? Four, three, I could probably hold my core in more. Two, one, pull all the way in. Okay, we've got our lower lifts. I am out of breath right now. And we're gonna tap down and up here we go oh wow that was a big wave out there okay 10 i hope it doesn't start to <laughs> hopefully the tide doesn't start to come in because then we would have to stop our class okay keep going eight and seven and six and five Woo! 
four, three, we're so close, I know. Two, and one. Okay, we've got our last thing here. Pull it up, extend long. 10. So you wanna move gracefully through the transitions. That's what I think really separates someone who's working out and someone who's moving mindfully. It's these transitions, right? From one position to the next, it's seamless. That's how ballerinas move, right? They move with grace. And you have to recruit every single little muscle in every point, right? Good, you're doing awesome. Five, and up. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh, all right. Let's take a forward fold, inhale in, reach the arms up. Exhale, lower down, release the head, shake out the legs, stretch out that left foot. Got a lot, a lot of work there. Okay, we're gonna lower down now onto our booties. And then let's slowly make our way down to our back. And we're gonna start in a bridge pose here. So lower all the way down onto your back. Press the palms down to the floor. And we're gonna squeeze the legs together. Begin by tucking the tailbone underneath you. So if you place your hands on your pelvis, it should feel like it's a bowl, right? And the bowl tips towards your belly button. And then squeeze your booty underneath you. Draw the ribs down. And then peel one vertebrae off the floor at a time. Nice, so it's not about getting high, right? Because look what happens, it goes into my low back. We don't want that. Stay low and stay tucked under. Here we go, 10 times just like that. 10 and lower, nine and lower. Feel those inner thighs working. Feel the glutes, feel the hamstrings. So you wanna stay in your heel. So I like to kind of pull my toes up towards my shins flexing my feet so that I can get into my heels really deeply. Six, five, and lower. Squeeze the knees together. Four, and lower. Three, and two. Keep going. And one, good, now lift the knees, or lift the hips up, stay right there, keep the knees together. Now lift the right leg up off of the floor. We're in a 90 degree angle, tap the hips down, press through the left heel, and lift up, here we go. 10 times like that, and 10, and nine, and eight. If you feel it too much in your quad, you can just scoot the foot out, just slightly out towards the end of your mat. Good, seven, we want it in the hamstring and glute. Six, five, good, four, three, and two, and one. Reach the right leg up, little pulses here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place that heel down, go right onto the other side, I know. Keep the hips tucked under, lower the hips down. Let's go for 10 and lower. These are pretty hard. Nine and lower. I love these though because it really gets so deep into your own glutes, your hamstrings, and you're not lifting anything but your own body weight. It's pretty crazy, right? Six, it's so empowering to be able to lift your own body with your own muscles, right? Five and four, three, and two, and one. Lift that leg up, little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place the foot down, slowly lower. Pull the knees in toward the chest. Woo. We're gonna roll ourselves all the way up to the top of our mats. 
Last little bit of class here together. So sit up tall. Feel the lower belly squeezing in, draw the ribs down, and we're gonna lower down into our C curve, and then roll all the way back up. Beautiful. Legs stay together, lower down, lower belly squeezes in, tailbone is still tucked under, and you're trying to press the lower belly into your back. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna see, can we balance up on our toes first? So I'm on my toes, my heels are lifted, Good, and lower, and lift. Now let's see if you can extend one leg at a time. Reach, and up. So move as slowly as you can. Try to even find those little shakes, right? Those little shaking points is just places where the muscles are weak, that they're not used to working, right? In these transitions, in these graceful movements, you have to recruit so many muscles. Okay. Now we're gonna do one more and let's hold it here. We're gonna just pulse it back and up. Oh boy, there it is. Eight and up, seven and up, six, deep into that core. Five, if you, have, if you need a little assistance, you just put your hands here, assist yourself up just like that. And then see if you can then maybe one, take them off, right? You just build one by one and one good switch the legs regroup yourself here we go reach and eight up seven up six up five these look so simple but they're so challenging keep the legs together the knees together Four, don't let those knees come apart. Three, and up, and two, and up. One, and up. Oh my goodness. Reach the legs up, inhale in, exhale. Just take a little forward fold to relax and release. Wow, we did so much in our time together. Just take a little breather, release our head down. Just notice the sensations of your body right now. Notice your breath. And then notice how you feel. Maybe you feel accomplished, you feel strong. And allow these feelings of feeling accomplished and strong and proud to give you that motivation. Good, and let's take a, a nice little easy twist. So take that foot over the knee, place the elbow in and twist. So I always like to say that, you know, I can't, I can't always rely on feeling motivated. I can't rely on feeling even excited to work out. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I don't feel excited, but I know that I remember this moment. I mark it right in my brain, kind of imprint it. I know I'm gonna feel accomplished after. I know I'm gonna feel proud. I know I'm gonna feel amazing. And that's what I let keep me going. That's what I let be my motivation as opposed to waiting for motivation to come I create it myself good nice big twist and release you did an amazing job today great great work my stretchy babe check in with me hashtag stretchy babe tag stretchy fit app and I will see you on the next video bye